All right, we got something really cool happening at the YMCA, the brand new YMCA tomorrow. And in studio with us uh, right now, we got Andrea Stevenson. She is the uh, the CEO, the director. You're the top. You're the you're the head cheese over there, right? Uh, the head bathroom cleaner. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I do a heck of a job on toilets. You do it all, right? <laughs> That's right. You yeah. do what you got to do. Exactly. Hey, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. It was my pleasure. I'm so excited about this event. Thank you guys for having us on and being such a great partner and sharing all this awesome news. Well, it's been exciting. It's fun when I drive by. Um, I always look. Yep, people are going in there. Yep. Uh, they're uh, and you're seeing new people too, aren't you? It's really fun. Um, without having a building, we were really limited on who we could serve. It was mainly youth. And now walking through our doors, it's such a broad variety of our community. And that's what Wise are all about is serving such a, a broad spectrum. Whether it's a three year old in an early learning program or a senior that's in there, you know, using the equipment and getting some workout, riding the bike. That's a pretty cool experience to see people come through your door. Do you find that people still don't really understand exactly what the YMCA is all about? I do. Yeah, we get a lot of questions of, uh, you know, I didn't even know we had a Y. Uh, we hear that a lot in our community, and it's because necessarily we didn't have a building with a big Y on it. Now we've got that. But we've been serving this community for a long time with programs uh, to help parents work where the kids are out of school. Um, we've helped, uh, we've run a child care center at the high school, the Hawk's Nest program. Um, we are now, with the new building expanding, we've grown by about 50 programs um, just with wow. moving. Well, and the uh, Y's been in since the 1800s, right? Isn't that the we were, first one? Yeah, we were just talking about the 1915 YMCA that was built downtown. Um, I, you know, it's really fun to go back and, and pull those articles. They still exist. And the really cool part about that story is how they built that Y in 1950. It was the grandest gymnasium in the West. There was a running track on the roof. There was a, a, a swimming pool in the basement. There were rooms for men because it was primarily a men's organization. Now we're just an everybody organization. Um, but our community came together to build that. Uh, one of the misconceptions about WISE is that, you know, the big grand YMCAs come in and give you money to build it. And that is so far from the you truth. you got to come up with all the money on your own. Let's knock on your door <laughs> and see if you'll give. Um, our community has given, allowing us to build this Y. We are still a million dollars short of our goal. We have to raise $6 million, but we got a loan from our friends at the USDA that enabled us to move forward. Um, so we're still looking for donors to help us finish, complete the, the funding on this. But this why that we built together was built by our community. It was built by $500 gifts. It was built by $50,000 gifts. Those all come together to make this community center. And it happened in 1915 the same way. The Wilsons and the stories, they came together, decorated the rooms for the men, gave money. It's amazing how an organization still adheres to the same community building project. A hundred years, years later. later. Um, by the way, that build, part of that building is still um, here. It's, it's right across from Allegra, isn't it? Yep, and it's got a, a little pool in the basement yeah. about the size of your queen bed. And uh, I don't know what your queen bed looks like. I'm, I shouldn't have said that. I have a king. Okay. Well, it's about that size. Um, and, it, you know, it's split up now. It, it's still a building of service. Uh, I think HRDC has that building now, and it provides housing for people that need assistance. That's a pretty cool story, too. Yeah, absolutely. The building you built 100 years ago is still serving the community. Well, um, here's the deal. You can see the brand new YMCA. It's out there. It's Baxter and Love. Baxter and Love. Yeah, right there where the Commons is. Uh, and you're having your grand opening tomorrow. What's going to happen there? Uh, it's amazing. And people are saying, hey, you know, the weather is not so hot and it doesn't matter. Because, Indoors, right? Nope. Oh, you're going to be outside. We are outside. Okay. Rain, snow, Because you have sleep. that much stuff. There's no way we can move three bouncy houses, a jousting arena, okay. a climbing wall, a band, a food tent, a magician, cotton candy, you know, there's no way we're moving it inside. So just bring your raincoat. <laughs> um, we have the MSU football team uh, from 1.30 to 2.30 really? there to sign um, posters. Is Champ going to be there? Champ is going to be there. Yes. He's so, they're so fun. And the MSU Lady Bobcats, uh, the basketball team, are coming. So lots of volunteers coming. Uh, just a wide variety of family events. And I know by 12.55 
that the skies will clear <laughs> and the sun will come out and our community will come together and we will all celebrate something that this community has done today that will last a hundred awesome. years. So, okay, so just so we're clear on what time does this all happen tomorrow? One. Uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. to? Uh, 5 p.m. 5, okay. We've got food trucks there, uh, La Foley, Chef Table, um, gosh, the the Hawaiian shaved ice thing. We've got cotton candy, popcorn. This is a free event. It's sponsored by partners in our community, Williams Plumbing, Langless, uh, CTA, uh, gosh, Yellowstone Bank, Kenyon Noble. They came together to sponsor this for our community to make this a free event. Very cool. And then a part of this is the cleat swap, right? Yeah. So this, I don't know about you, if you've had kids, uh, especially young kids, you go and you buy their cleats and then wear them for six weeks. And next year you go buy a new pair. And then next year, why are we doing that? So bring your cleats into the Y. We ask that you do it before Saturday. Then you get a ticket. And you come in and exchange that for a pair of cleats that fits your athlete. So they just have to bring them in today and yep. then cool. And then they come to the grand opening and we have a wide selection. Now, there's no guarantee that you're going to find exactly what you need. You can always take your cleats back if they haven't been chosen. But the goal is to get kids into cleats and dance shoes as well, because dance shoes can be quite expensive. Oh, yes, they are. We run um, an intro to dance program for three, four, five-year-olds, and so dance shoes can be quite spendy too. So we have dance shoes available. Outstanding. All right, it's all happening tomorrow. YMCA, the brand new one there, Baxter and Love next to the Commons, uh, 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Yes, it's okay. a date. It's a date. All right, we'll see. Actually, we're going to be out uh, broadcasting Parade of Homes. We can swing by there because awesome. I want to joust with uh, with Allie. Have you, you seen these things? How about that? No, I haven't. So it's National Guard, and they apparently put you like in these bubbles. It's for older kids, not young babies, but they put you in these bubbles, I think, and, and you, you joust. joust around. So We totally should do that, Dave. You're going you're, down. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see everybody out there. YMCA tomorrow for their grand opening. Uh, come out if you can. And again, food, uh, football team's going to be out there from MSU, basketball team, the women will be out there. There's a lot going on, uh, including champ. Uh, Andrea, thanks for coming by. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you soon. I hope I'm going to see you at the Y. We were just talking about that, yeah, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Maybe a challenge coming up in October. Yeah. Let's see how much y'all can lift and run. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Before we get you out of here, uh, website for the Y. Uh, GallatinValleyYMCA.org. There you you go. can sign up for programs, especially PIR days when kids are out of school and you need to come to work. Get your kids in a program. Don't leave them at home. Um, you can make a donation um, online as well and learn all about the programs and group fitness and you know all that we have to offer. All right. Good deal. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.